What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Happy Monday. Glad you can make it. Glad you're here. Um, hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Let's start the week off right. Let's lay the foundation to a great week, and it starts with Monday right now. So uh, this will be a shorter video, so let's just get right into it. Um, today's video is going to be geared towards making the home buying process a little less stressful for buyers. It's always going to be stressful. Don't get me wrong. There's always, It's a big process. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things to do on your end. There's a lot of things your realtor is going to have to do on your end. There's always going to be complications that come up in every deal. No deal is locked, shut, you know, easy deal transition. It's not uh, the realtor's job is to make it as smooth as possible, but there's always going to be stress no matter what. So if you follow these four rules, it's going to make your home buying experience a lot less stress and hopefully you don't overthink it as much as long as you follow to these rules. So rule number one, first and foremost, is be patient. The market is crazy right now. Uh, it's died down a little bit since summer, but it's still really good. The average days on the market is very, very uh, limited in terms of uh, days from the past, years of the past. So be patient. Um, there's a lot of, you know, with the low interest rates still going on, there's a lot of demand for homes, good homes. So a lot of people are competing for the same homes you like, and you're not going to get the first home most likely. Um, so be patient. It might take some time, but you know, your realtor or me, hopefully, <laughs> uh, will find you the home that you're looking for and you're desiring. Uh, rule number two is compromise. Um, this is something that a lot of people, especially first time home buyers, uh, struggle with is compromise. They want everything in their first house. Um, whatever the case may be, you want it to check every single box that you're looking for. And a lot of times in today's market, you're not going to do that. Um, you know, if it's your forever home, maybe you can take some more time to only look at homes and only seek homes that check every single box. If you know for a fact you're never going to move again, um, that's one thing. But uh, life comes at you fast. You can say you're never going to move again, but things change, whatever the case may be. Uh, but anyway, compromise. A recent study found that 7 out of 10 home buyers compromise when buying a home. At the end of the day, you can always do home improvements to your home. If there's something that's missing, you can always add it. You know, if it's central air, if you don't like the tabletops, if you want granite countertops, whatever the take, whatever the case may be, you can always add it to the home later after you buy it. Uh, but compromise is very, very key um, to finding the home that you're looking for and uh, getting into a home, especially in today's market. Uh, rule number three is priorities. Um, you know, this is something you should do right bef before you even start the home buying process. Sit down with you and your significant other or just you if it's just you and write down a list. You know, look at the list, write down the list, th think really hard of what you can absolutely live without, but you would like, but you can live without. Um, and then you have to write down what is your musts. And, you know, once you've got it, you know, ironed out, you have your musts on one side, you have your likes, but could live with apps on the other side. This is part of that compromise. Once you have it set in stone, do not change it during the whole process. Even share it with your realtor and maybe make a copy of it, give it to him and make sure he holds you to that list. It's going to make it a lot easier and a lot less overthinking. Um, if you stick to your list, again, you can be strict when you're first starting off on your list and say, you know, whatever, this is the list, but do not compromise once the list is finished and you've shared it with other people stick to your list priorities 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 again part of that whole compromise thing what you can live without and what you absolutely have to have stick to your list and finally the very last thing in today's market that's going to help you get a lot less stress a lot less heartbroken is you got to commit when you find a home you like there is no the days of negotiating back and forth with the realtors you know the realtor calling you saying hey what's your offer you put put in the offer the realtor calling it you know the uh, listing agent calling the buyer's realtor saying, ah, we're just not there. We need a little bit more. Go back to your buyer, see if they can get a little bit more or, you know, maybe they can uh, take a little less concessions or maybe they can go over ask or whatever. Those days are gone. Um, there is no haggling anymore right now with the market we're in. OK, you might only get one offer. They may never even respond to your offer. That's just the way we are. You know, there's a lot of times I see a house being listed for two days and then instantly they're saying final and best due on this day. You may not even get a response. He literally says that. Um, so if you're going, if you like a house, you find a house that you like, it stood over all the other ones the, the, you just walked in, the home felt right. You look, you liked everything. It checked most of your, you know, it checked everything on your musts. Maybe there's something missing on your can live withouts, but for the most part, it's a great house. You got to commit. You got to be all in right off the get go. Give your best 
offer that you're willing to pay for the house right off the get-go. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, if it's not perfect and, you, you know, you don't want to go all in on the house and whatnot, that's one thing. But if you love the house and you can see yourself living there for years and years and years and being happy, you got to commit. There's no negotiating, no haggling in today's market. So this will do a lot. Of, if you follow these four rules, it'll do a lot to relieve some stress, some overthinking and make the home buying experience a little less stressful. It's always going to be stressful to an extent, but it'll make it a little less stressful if you follow these four rules, if you're a home buyer, especially in today's market. So that's my video for today. I'll have another one as usual on Wednesday morning. Uh, drop in. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, I like to surprise you guys, keep you guys guessing. As usual, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can hit me up. Number's right up there. And uh, have a great day. Have a great week.